many of us have tightness and pain in our backs and joining us today is Dr. Michael Provenzano. He is the only chiropractor and physical therapist in the Merrimack Valley. Dr. Provenzano, so glad to be here. Thank what you can you much. tell us to help us with our tight backs? Well, the first thing is if your back pain is associated with any sort of trauma, travels into your legs and is not alleviated with rest, you really should have it examined by your doctor to make sure it's nothing more serious. Okay. But assuming that it's not, there are some simple stretches we can go over. Oh, great. Ooh, okay. nice. I'm just going to have you lie on your back right here. All right. Here First stretch is called a knee to chest stretch. Okay. Just lying on your back like this. You're just going to bring this knee all the way up to your stomach. Oh, it feels good. You just want to hold it for 30 seconds. No bouncing, just a nice hold for 30 seconds. It's a great name. I mean, it's easier to remember knee, chest. Exactly. I like that. You're going to do the other leg, okay. and you're actually going to go back and forth three times on each leg. Okay. The next stretch, bend both knees. All right. Hold on to the side of the table, and you want to bring both knees as far as you can, all okay. right, just to the point of pain or just to the point where you feel a stretch. All right. Same thing, you want to hold it for 30 seconds, and you want to bring your knees all the way over to this side. Mm, that feels really okay. good. Same thing, hold for 30 seconds and relax. Three times on each side. Okay. And the last stretch is a hamstring stretch. Tight hamstrings can contribute to a lot of low back pain. You just want to straighten your leg like that, hands behind the knee. Same thing, hold it for 30 seconds. You should feel a little pull or and a stretch in the back of the leg. And then if you need to modify, you can bend the knee. Just bend the knee a little bit, cheat a little bit. 30 seconds, three times on each leg. I understand that the core, which is the abdominal area, is really important in having a good strong back. So can you show us some good core exercises? Sure. The basic structure of all core exercises is a tight stomach. Oh, so great. lying on your back with your knees bent like this, you just want to tighten up your stomach, okay. suck your belly button in, and flatten your spine. Oh, I okay? like that. Yeah, I did those for years, and it really, without even adding the sit-up part to it, it added, made a big difference. Yeah, it really strengthens up your core. So the, what you're going to do is you hold that tight, okay. and while you're holding that nice and tight, you can just do some functional activities with your legs. So you're just going to march in place, nice and slow, nice and okay. keeping your stomach tight the whole time. All right. So I usually have my patients do that 30 times. Then when that gets easy, we're going to do a straight leg raise. You're going to straighten your one leg, holding your stomach tight, your spine flat. You're just going to lift the leg to the height of the opposite knee. And you can feel that in the quad too. Yeah, you'll definitely front. be working your quad as well. And holding your stomach tight, you're going to be working your core. Great. And I usually have my patients do two sets of 10, two sets of 15 on each leg. And these are things you can do every day? You could do the stretches every day, two to three times a day. The exercise is probably better, better off every other day. Okay, great. And then the proper way to get up, if I remember, from Roll on your side. physical therapy. <laughs> Swing your legs over ah, and push yourself up. That was great. Thank you so much, Dr. My Provenzano. Pleasure. I love that. I love practical things that people can do. If people want to learn more, they can check out www.itsyourhealthnetwork. There is a web, there is a link there where you can find a chiropractor and physical therapist in your area and keep living healthy in New England. Thank you.